Ramsey. John, baby, and we doing what it do, what it do, what it do, yeah. baby. On yeah, another yeah, episode, man. man. Sunday night, night keep talk. talk. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. I hope everybody's staying safe out there, dog. Yeah, man. But uh, before we start, I want to say thanks to everybody that been subscribing, commenting, reposting. You know, showing love. Appreciate that love, baby. You know what I'm saying? We need all that yeah. love. I can tell y'all each and every episode. All, all love is good love. All feedback is good feedback. Yeah. Well, man, for real, we appreciate all the love, man. But before we start this episode today, man, we gotta get into this, these trending topics, man. Trending fucking, trending topics. I'm gonna say trending topics. Man, my boy Patrick Mahomes yesterday secured the bag, the big bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. we paid. Threw the bag over his shoulder with this one, for sure, for real. My boy signed a 10 year extension yeah. with the Kansas City Jeez. Chiefs. I must be. $503 million. That's a half a billion, man. Come on, now, half a billion? million. Oh my God, oh, that's, What are you making? What are you making? You uh, 50 million a year? God, damn. 50 million a year, and one day he making 137000 And one hour he make $5,000. Man. A minute, in a minute he making $96,000. Oh, hell, dog. <laughs> $96,000 a minute. Man, every second he make a dollar. A dollar and sixty cent every second. And him breathe it. I'll tell you right now, <laughs> dog. I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't think he worth it, big dog. I, I don't understand how. Like how, bro? Like ten years, bro. That's the, like, first of all, the biggest contract we, in sports history. Before we was even on the camera, we were talking about this. What David, what David? Andrew, look. Yeah, and we did. Right. And we went won the Super Bowl. It's always gonna be <laughs> a young Super Bowl that spot, day. bro. Who took to a Brady spot? All right, I that nigga's true. It's always gonna be a youngster, bro. Yeah, nah, boy. He feel like in, in the next five years, somebody's gonna replace him. I'm like, how? Somebody, it's always gonna be a young gun and take his fight, dog. How? It's when history who replaces replace Peyton Manning. Who replaced Peyton Manning? When they replaced him, they replaced him. Andrew, Andrew Love. Love. Andrew and he Love. went to the Broncos, brought, brought a whole ring, went to the Super Bowl two, two years in a row. Am I lying? Am I lying, dude? Nah. We have a, Tom Brady did it for this 20 years. This is football. This ain't basketball. Football versus QB. QB's last this like 20 years. This is more physical, bro. He Man, is. football, that's different. No quarterback's long last time. I ain't wasting nothing ill on my boy Mahomes. <laughs> but I, I don't think he, he worked the 10, 10 years, bro, in it football. Is. Yeah, he worked, some, I feel like. Some people's careers don't even be 10 years in football. Who you know throwing no look pass in the football, bro? bro like, my boy called. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. He threw left hand. He probably throwing left hand pass right here. I ain't gonna lie, my boy, my boy called. I, I get it to him. He got the boys a ring, but 10 years, though? Man, I 10? Like, I can see four or five, but. Man, y'all let us know. We're gonna come. Let us know in the man, comments man, how y'all feel. Y'all think about that, man. I, but, I feel like he worked it. He do feel like. I don't feel like he worked it. He ain't worked it, but. Y'all let us know what y'all think about Since we in the football, yeah. as well, what you feel, how you feel about Cam Newton with the Patriots? How you feel Cam about Newton, that? Cam Newton, I feel like that's a that's a big upside for them, and then especially how much they got him for. I don't think they got him for much or nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, I, I feel like that's a plus for both of them. It's gonna. Give him a chance to give game back his, his, you know what I'm saying, his worth and his value, cause they, they kind of jerk balling with the with the little pay a little. Bit. I feel like they jerk balling him, man. That's messed up. Yeah, but I feel like he in a good organization. For sure, for sure. Yeah. I support black QBs as well. I want that boy yeah. to succeed. I feel Especially like Cam Newton. He felt like they dog true. that boy yeah, in true, Carolina. Man. But we'll see, man. Bill the check. Hopefully yeah. they don't do no the flake gate shit over there. <laughs> <laughs> some blue cheese stuff, but hey, I wish, some blue cheese, man. wish that boy the best of luck, man. I heard uh, NBA moving on to the NBA. I heard my boy Jared Smith got signed. Uh -huh. Well, I say he got the fade away from 2K. He, he got the fade away from 2K. How you feel about that? I, I ain't with it. I'm, a, yeah, they, I I'm against they, it. They just getting too many people at this point, dog. They're yeah. like, there's too many people. They don't need all them damn people on their team. I don't feel like they need them, man. They only got D Waiters too. Yeah, they, they, got, they signed D Waiters people. too. Deion Waiters. All the fucking shooters and they only got. They only got this shit. That's too much. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. After the last, his last little escalade with the Cavs, after that shit he did with the Cavs, dog. Oh, they, um, Jr. Going, you got to show me something, dog. <laughs> For real. You got to show man, me I, something, man. I, I feel like I, I'm, I support him. I feel like he, 
it's good to see him back in the league. I, I support that, but as far as him on that team, no. I, mean, I feel like he he got it, but he yeah, just yeah, he just down. he just inconsistent though. Yeah, he and like down. sometimes he, he trip when it matter the most. He like he like fourth in playoff threes made. He yeah, fourth, all the time. Yeah, all the time he the fourth like three points made all the time. Yeah. So I feel like this he gonna knock the buckets. I just feel like they doing they trying to do too much. Bro. They got too much. Yeah. So, but I, you know I'm, I'm, I want Brown to get another ring. So if it's gonna help, by all means, I'm with it. Yeah. But you know, Jr. Boy had to show me some. I seen uh, Jamal Crawford got signed too. Yeah, we're talking about this today. Got signed to the uh, the Knicks or the Knicks? The Knicks. The Knicks. The Knicks. The Knicks. The Knicks. The Knicks. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I feel like he should have been, been in the league Brooklyn, though. Yeah, he's back in New York, so shit. That's, that's a good look too. I feel like my boy should have been in the league. Yeah. Yeah, he always held though. Like, he still off. got it though. Like, you don't call that boy J crossover for that. Yeah, you know? He got. He still got a little something. He got a little something in the bag. But yeah, let us know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Yeah. So, uh, all right, next we're going to get into this we had this big debate on Facebook between Ozan Band and Central Band, first of all. Oh, man. Man, coming from a band background, <laughs> I, I went to King, a band background. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Wright, Mr. Gladney. And being, from what I know, Central been killing them since Mr. Parker left Ozan. Central been killing <laughs> ass for sure. <laughs> Century Bitch Killing Ass. I can't say nothing about it. You know, I'm with the Brook. Yeah. We only play. I like the way he moved. That was the only black song they played in Brook. So I, I, ain't, I can't put my two cents in. Every time I went to, you know, the Central Ozan game, both bands sounded live to me. So you I, I couldn't you, tell you. If you, pick, if you had to pick, who would you pick? I couldn't tell you, bro. Yeah, you got to pick. If you had to pick, you got to pick somebody. Who you know, pick? Coming from, from the school where I came from, bro, most of them <laughs> live yeah. in there. What I'm saying is, oh, like, no. being right. from, I was in, I was in like the tenor cap, I was the, uh, the captain of the tenor drum. Yeah. Man, they put, they like, Central put on for the percussion, like, yeah. they whole drum line was fire. I was in, it was bullshit, fool, like, they was really trash, fool, they went trash, yeah. but they was just not like that. Yeah. Central going hard the whole game, like the whole from first quarter they walked in the stadium to the end of the game they going hard. I was in every now and then they come with a banger and then they just fall off. So yeah, I, I, I could like really, Central for sure. One I could tell you, but you know my mom graduated from Central, so I'm gonna go with Central. Yeah. Rest in peace to my mom, so. Rest in peace, man. All for real. So so what we get into, man? All right, before we get into our sneaker reviews today, we are gonna get into what we got on our feet. What you got on today, P? But today I got on the uh the draw one respect Derek Jesus man, nothing too major, you know what I'm saying? The little sleeper. Boy it came with the heat today, man. Yeah, it's, it's I ain't seen so many on. people with them joints, dog. Yeah, pretty cool. Like we said last episode, yeah. most fire. Um I got on a, you know, some slight OG retro one, fearless zoom. Zoom two K's, you know. Some slight. My homeboy said that was ugly, man, but you know, I know some people say they clean, some people say they ugly, you know. But wear what you like, man. Don't don't listen to what other people say though. Wear what you like for sure. Alright. To start it off, man, we got a banger. We're gonna we we're just gonna go all out for you. First shoe we got today. Oh my. I gotta grab the other one. Probably the, the hottest shoe of the year, man. Arguably top two, one, two. I feel okay. like number one. Number one? Yeah, I feel like number one. The Nike SB Dunk Low, Ben and Jerry collab. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, I, I'm just speechless, uh, uh, you know. He's, he's dropped in March. I think March 26, I believe. They retail for $100. $100, man. Honey. But you ain't going to get them for $100. <laughs> what, two resale, yeah, resale by like average $1,600 to $2,000, dog. Yeah, this ain't the ones with the bucket, but you know what I'm saying? They still got the little yeah. box on the bucket. We didn't, we didn't have the one with the special boxing, but yeah. we, hey, it's easy. Yeah, they still hey, and, it, and the main thing is they legit, man. They not fake. No full game. Shout man. out to my boy, Don no CEO. Every, you know you want to shout out my every episode. You know man. that boy come with the fire, dog. They Appreciate you for, for giving us these, these dog. Time. But yeah, dog, these is, these is fire. As you can see, this this shoe is based after yeah. the Ben & Jerry ice cream, the chunky uh, monkey flavor. You got your cow pattern right here. Yeah, these are tough, man. Yeah, these are tough. You got your. It's just it's basically. It basically modeled after the little ice cream card. Yeah. It's definitely you got your grass back here. Definitely a cop. For sure. It, it's already can, probably the shoe of the year. I ain't gonna lie. You got it, cop. I don't know too many people got that. Yeah, man. yeah. You got it, cop. <laughs> what we got next, P? So next we're gonna get into the. Well, I said, bro, I'm gonna get into the St. John low top. St. John's. Yes, yes, sir. These. Tough to me, I like 
I had the highs back in middle school, man. One of my favorite shoes. These was tough, bro. Like, yeah, like we said last last episode, Nike dropped the yeah. team tone pack with the yeah. schools. This is the St. John colorway. Yeah, These came true. out June, I believe, June second. Yeah. Retail for a hundred dollars. Tough. Resale right now, they're going about like uh, average four hundred to five hundred dollars. So it's probably gonna be tough to get these. Yeah. I'm not sure, but yeah. Definitely 110% cop. Yeah, shout out to my boy Don CEO again. Which one? Uh, this probably your favorite pair out the pack, yeah, huh? My, my, definitely my favorite pair. Favorite, pa favorite pair out of the downloads. Yeah, this is my favorite pair, period. Like, yeah, this, yeah. Is this is probably my top, yeah, top it, three. It remind me to bring back memories because I had the high, so it bring back so many memories. Yeah, uh, yeah for sure. Oh. All right, next we got the Brazil Dunk Lows. This is probably my, my favorite dunk out the pack that, that's been dropping this year. These yeah. came out, these is the first time they retro since 01. They came out originally in 2001, and they just released again a few months ago. Uh, retail on these was 100, you know, all dunks is pretty much $100. But, you know, chances of that, yeah, you copping for $100 is real like slim, yeah. Uh, resale on these is in, it's about average 350, 400, I looked yeah. it up. So, it's not too bad on these. If you're trying to cop, but yeah. they would, yeah. it's not like as high as the St. John's, but He's tough, I feel like that, that's a hard colorway. My only, my only dislike about the shoes, they only came with white shoe strings. You know, all the other SBs, like these came with red, these came with white. Um, the Kentuckys came with blue, came with white, Syracuse, orange, white. Um, the Chunky Dunkies, green, yellow laces. Good, they only gave us the white laces and then that's my only complaint about these. Yeah. But I still feel like these is probably the best ones He's I've ever had. These old ones. Yeah. For sure. So next we got the low top plum, dunk lows, man. These. Those originally dropped in 01 as yeah, well. These are tough. They man. dropped in the uh, pack that was called the Ugly Duckling pack. Damn, 01. Man. It was like them and two other ones. I forget the other ones. But these these recently came out in um, April, I believe, or February, I think, I earlier see. this year. I really slap you up. Yeah, that's probably that's like probably my second. It's, it's, inter hard, like it's it. interchangeable. You can do yeah. the, the Brazils or the plums. Oh, oh like the biotechs too. I know people like oh, the biotechs. The biotechs, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then ain't, them, ain't too much to say about these. Let me see, Pete. You know, you got your all suede on the whole shoe. That's you know, tough, it's man. a hard colorway too. Like I feel like you can swag these out. It's loud. It's a loud colorway. You can really, Ooh, really nice. swag these out. So. I know these came out already like a few months ago. We just, you know, we just thought we'd review some heat for you guys. Yeah. For those who don't have them and you know you want to see them. Like I said, game. man, if y'all want to see some old shoes, something y'all 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 never seen before and y'all like, damn, I, I wonder if they can get it. Just let us know in the comments. We ain't been getting a lot of comments. Like we're getting a few, but yeah. we really want you guys to comment. Let us know oh, what's up. Something that, uh, yeah. But yeah, shout out to the, the plum, the dunk lows. Yeah. For sure, top top two, top three of this year. Sure. All right, the next shoe we gonna get into for you one heads out there. Everybody all of a sudden loves ones and stuff. <laughs> so you know, the smoke gray Jordan one retro OG. These are set to release June eleventh, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For one seventy, um, I really I'm really not feeling these shoes. They just look like a knockoff Union uh, one to me. <laughs> like I feel like Nike. Nike and Jordan dropped the ball on these. They really should have made the red, black, the red. They really should have made the the gray part, like you know, like the Union ones, like they're gonna do that. Or made the I, I don't feel, I'm not feeling the suede, you know. Yeah. They should have probably made the leather or something. Yeah, like, I know. It'd been cool to do that though. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. I feel they like they try to put the they try to put the old the little old benches little look at the top with them. Yeah, like they should have did that at the bottom. I feel like they dropped, they really dropped the ball on these, dog. Like, no, I feel like the only thing really gonna save them are red shoe strings, though. Oh, they come with red shoe strings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, shoe yeah, yeah, yeah. These just in the box, yo. But yeah, these are set to release June 11th. June 11th, yeah, June 170. Um, you, you, I know a lot of stuff drop to you. A lot of, a lot of stuff's gonna be getting them late because the Corona, so yeah, they're gonna cold. get the shit, the uh, shit is late and stuff. Yeah, they'd probably be pretty accessible to cop. I, I, I don't you know, but y'all know I, I'm a copper though for sure. But I don't think it's gonna be like a big in my rotation though. But I'm yeah. a copper though for sure. Yeah, I'm big in the rotation though. Yeah, 
Nah, this is a draw for me. I feel like, oh, like I said, uh, they should have did the red down here as well on the back tab. Maybe that would have been harder if they did leather too. Yeah. And the check leather too. I'm not feeling the suede. The suede? Yeah, the check suede yeah, too. Yeah. So that's, that's a draw for me. Mm -hmm. You copping though, huh, P? I'm a cop for sure. I ain't gonna kind of put them in rotation. I'm a cop for sure, for sure. I'm I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. They got, they got, like, they ain't too, they, they really go crazy for our pay. I wouldn't pay no, no resale price or nothing. I wouldn't even pay $20 resale. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. So what you got next? What we got next? All right, next we got the great alternate Jordan 5s. They were released, what, June the 7th? Yeah. Retail 190 because they got the jump in, not the Nike on the back. Nike like, yeah. But I, I, I feel like because of the, the, the purple on it, I, I love it because of the purple. I think it's a cool purple. Like me and you debated about it. Um, on our uh, on our Instagram, Instagram store. Yeah, we took a poll. He, he beat me on the poll. Yeah. But still, I feel like these better. I feel like the classic OG grapes, which I got. I feel it. like they made it. They won because it's the OG. It's the OG. You can't go wrong. Yeah, it's the I only grape it. that matters. The OG grape to me. And then, in my opinion, another lot of people really don't miss with the suede like that because they it's easy to mess up. And they, they the OG is leather, so. Yeah. I feel like it's a it's a cool shoe. I just feel like they they're like four or five years later with it. Like if they had dropped it like a few years after the OG grapes dropped, like maybe 15, 14, 2014. That would have for sure been like a hard shoe, but I just mm -hmm. feel like they're a little late. They just I feel like they didn't went big on colorways like this. You, did, you know, they did the black grapes too back yeah, then. The black grapes, yeah, that was cool too. Yeah, those was all right. He definitely killing the black grapes though, for sure. Yeah, it's cool. I, yeah, for sure, I, I could pass on them for yeah. sure though. But I, I copped them, so well, I did cop them when I sold them, but I'm trying to get them to pay off for resale. They said, so, you said they 190 what's resale? 190. What's resale on? Um, Resale like two two seventy now, two seventy, two seventy five, something so like that. Yeah, if you it, it's kinda of pairs crazy. out there. It's a, yeah. it's, it's it's fairly easy yeah. to cop them, so yeah, so but yeah. Oh well. Alright, All right, next one we got you. Next we got the what? Next we're gonna get into something new, something different. Different for you guys. Basically a Nike Balenciaga, you know, the ones that look like socks, like, <laughs> like Cardi B said. <laughs> it's called the Nike Space Hippie 3, the, the third version. Yeah. It's basically four versions Nike did of this. And basically this, this shoe is my, it's trash, basically. It's trash, P. It's trash, P. It's trash. Like it's literally trash. Like They made it trash? It's, it's made, it's composed of recycled Nike t-shirts, Oh. recycled uh, plastic bottles and re uh, recycled uh, yarn. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's basically it's basically trash. You could call it trash if you want. <laughs> and a little about a little bit about the backstory behind this space hippie shoe is life and sustainability on Mars. You know, on Mars, resources are limited. There's not much on the planet, so you know you got they make stuff out of they recycle all kind of materials, and that's basically the backstory behind this shoe. Like I said earlier, it's composed of old Nike t-shirts, uh, old old yarn, and water bottles. Um, so, so. so yeah, this is something different, something new. Um, actually, the foam is called crater foam on the bottom of the sole. It's basically like a moon shoe. That's why it's called the Space Hippie. So you know, self-explanatory. Um, this is something different, dog. I, I, I could I could definitely see myself rocking these yeah, like for the this. summer. You know. I like them. It's basically a, a sock like the Balenciagas. You know, if you want to tr tighten them up, you pull right here. It says pull. If you want to pull it, tighten the shoe up. You just pull. If you want to loosen, you just pull it back to it. So yeah, this is a dope shoe. Like basically the Nike Balenciaga runner. How you feel about these, yo? You missed out on the drop, huh? They cool. I, I know y'all. I ain't been on the Nike out, but they cool. I like them. Yeah, yeah these these released July third. Like, so they, huh, what's the resale though? What's, what's the like? What's the? Uh, they're what's not the, they're not going for that much. That, from what I from what I know, like you could cop these like probably two hundred, three hundred on stock edge. They're not going for that much though. Maybe two hundreds if I'm not mistaken on average. But yeah, this is some dope, something new. I feel like it's th it's four models of this shoe. They had a one, two. Three and four. I think one model was a woman's model. Yeah. Um, this is the third model again, the Space Hippie Three. Um, I know the first model was a low top, I think. But this is probably the hardest models out of all of them to me, in my opinion. Like it just something futuristic, like you know. 
it's something different. So, so if you definitely look for something different, shout out to Nike for this, the Space Hippie 3. Look it up on StockX, the GOAT. It should be easy to cop for sure. All right, so the next shoe we're gonna get into for you guys, something, something different again. You know, we gotta, we gotta keep y'all on y'all toes, man. Yeah. It's the G Dragon collab with Nike Air Force One, Peace Minus One. <laughs> Paranoids Air Force One. A lot of y'all like, what, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> so for those of y'all that don't know, G Dragon is a Korean pop star. He's in a, a pop group called Big Bang, so and cool, he though. he had his he had his collab with with Air Force One. His 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 a clothing brand is called Peace Minus One. So that's why that's why it's called Peace Minus One. For those of y'all that don't know, this shoe. It's basically like the SB ones, you know, the they got a design behind the behind the black. Yeah. So like, you know, after time it fades off yeah, or you yeah, can yeah. just you want to design it yourself. There's a pattern behind the black. Behind Something the black like the SB ones. Something like all the SB ones, you know. But yeah, this is pretty dope. Like I feel like like the brush paint, a little black brush paint on the on yeah. the white. How you feel about something? like, you know, Asians and stuff like that, uh, getting down on the shoe, and, you know. I think it's they're real big in the fashion. I know, yeah. I know you know they're real big in the fashion. I think, yeah, pretty much. You need like I like collabs. Period. But this a, it's a hard collabs to me. I like it yeah. because you know what I'm saying it's, it's unique. I like the like the brush paint on the on the, on the mid so white and then it, when the paint peel off, it, I forgot what's behind it. Like behind Some it. kind of little pattern with yeah. like flowers and stuff. But it's cool though. I like it. Yes, yeah, I always. I don't know forces too much, but yeah. this is a cool force. I feel like the white like this one cool. Yeah, cool. they real big into to like fashion in Asia, like Tokyo, especially Tokyo. But yeah. my boy G Dragon from Korea, so. Like this is real dope to see like different cultures get their own little yeah, little cool. shoe. As you can see, like Peace Minus One, he got is missing a uh, spin wheel on the, on the bottom of the flower. That's that's his clothing line. That's his signal right there. Yeah. So yeah, this is dope, dog. They got Peace Minus One on the insole. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I, I haven't heard none of his music, so I, you yeah. know, I don't. I can't tell yeah, you his music. Yeah. The music no, yeah. This is cool dope for like a, you know. It's a hard collab. I feel hard collab. Peace minus one. Paranoids. Air Force One by my boy G Dragon from the Big Bang Group. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to my boy Don CEO again. But he's hot. And next we got the uh, the Yeezys. Which one is this here, Jim? The Yeezy Quantums. The Yeezy Quantums. I remember they was uh, for All Star Weekend. They was yeah. passing them out. That was a different color. The different color white. Yeah, that was the same model. The quad, model. The model. 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 Like, he was making people take their shoes out. Yeah. They fear going out, throwing them away, so they need to give them a free pair of the Yeezy Quantum. This is this is basically the same shoe. It's just a different colorway. Like it's called the Barium colorway. Basically, the the colorway, the colors and the stripes are different yeah. than the than the one you seen in All Star. Um, those are more limited. The ones that came out. All Star, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. These are fat ass shoes. These are fat. <laughs> I, I kind of I like them. I like them. This this is just a big size, you know. Yeah. So they look like some boats. Oh, big, big. <laughs> oh, big. No. But they yeah. cool though. They not sport cut yet, but they different, man. You know, I I didn't know, but Barium is basically an element on a periodic chart, man. For those of y'all that don't know, man, they should they should have you should have stayed in school, man, because I don't remember that yeah, shit. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah. But yeah, this is uh, cool, nah. this, this is actually the first easy basketball shoe as well, yeah, too. Yeah. So so I don't know. I, I could I could see. Cop, yeah, this is definitely a cop. I seen I like you know I seen Quavo rock these yeah. for All Star. They look to fly. Yeah. I've actually seen a few people rock this barium color. I know I love Yay. I know I love Yay, but it's not a cop. <laughs> I would not cop this shit. Yeah. The only difference, like I said, from this and the the All Star uh, drop is the colorway and the like the. This is like a little darker and yeah. the toe is a little darker too. Yeah. Um, cool. They cool. It's a cool shoe. Too. How you feel about Easy with the uh, the West Day over the Gap collab? I feel like that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Don't try to try to catch something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my boy signed a 10. He signed a 10 year deal too with Gap. Yeah. I know it's a 10. That's cool. I feel like there's a lot of trying to bring Gap back. You know, it's, it's like one of, the, one of the favorite little carpet lines growing up. Yeah, I, had, I used to have some Gap clothes back in the day too. You know, we ain't got Gap no more. I know. Oh, yeah. But yeah, shout, shout out to Kanye again, man. <clears throat> Mr. West. All right, you guys. Next, we're finna get into our sneaker rotation of the week. I'm gonna go first, you know. I didn't, you know, like I said last episode, I rock the same shoe a few times out the week, so my rotation been kind of, you know, kind of short. But 
the first shoe I'm gonna get into is the Victor Cruz shoe, Air Cruz. Two, two's the one. Uh, it's the ones, huh? This is first shoe. Yeah. Yeah, this is a sleeper. I feel like this was a hard shoe. It kind of, it kind of remind me of the the Yeezys, the Nike Yeezys, mm -hmm. like a little knockout Yeezy. But it was a clean shoe. Like, yeah, this the red. Nah, I, I wanted the red ones, but I don't think it was just. You, you, you had the cream. I think ones? it was friends and family. Did you not get that cream pair yet? I got a pink pair too. Yeah, a pink pair. I see you got a cream pair at work. You ain't never got them. Yeah, it was pink. Oh, that was pink. No, yeah, it was pink. It was light pink. I think the first pair that came out was wheat though. So it was a, it's a few colorways. Like these came out like 2015, somewhere like that. Yeah. 2016. It's a real little uh, slip on mm -hmm. shoe, dope little shoe. So yeah, that was something I rocked as we got pulled out. Um, that. Since the purple grape dropped this, this week, this past week, I pulled out my OG grape pies. Grape pies. Still kind of fresh, you know. Oh, it is fresh. Yo, this, this is actually a 13 pair. 2013. Um, I don't have the OC. They probably be yellow as hell if it was OC. But yeah, I feel like, like I said, we was debating earlier. I feel like these is the hardest. This is the only grape shoe that matter. Like, I, I feel like these is harder. Like, what you? Let us know in the comments what you think. OG, ultimate. Let us know how you feeling. You know, peace at these harder, huh? Oh no, you kind of feel these more, huh? <laughs> that leather is just Yeah, these is. Yeah. Oh, there is, though. I just back, I didn't get it. Like, yeah, yeah, I pulled these out. You know, I, I really don't wear them. Huh? Some shit. Next shoe, we uh, already discussed it. I won the first episode. I had to pull them out again. UNC 3s. Nothing major. What you got, Pete? Alright, first, I like to you know what I'm saying? Red see me three is out with the I put the red laces in, I took the white out, put the red laces in. Oh yeah. It's pretty cool. We told y'all, yeah. man, that's one of our favorite shoes right there the year. I need to get another pair of these actually. I want another pair. I gotta find me another pair of them. Yeah. And what's like that? I had four of these out. Ooh, the tinker. Tinker. Tinker Hanfield. Yeah, with the with the three on. Yeah. Oh no, these are pretty cool. Yes, were, these was a steal too. I got these for a steal. Probably like $70. Yeah, I think for like $70. $70, bro. $70, man. Hell nah, I don't believe that, P. And they're going for $99, I got the discount, $70. All right, then I got, I had pulled these out earlier, like like Monday, and pulled out my low top shadows. See, oh, see the glitz in there, man? Right? Oh, the Asian, the Asian in the thing, baby. You gotta keep that, that glitter on the thing. What that glitter yeah. mean, man? I mean, that's, that's when your, your, uh, your finishing coming out, because the shoes are old, it's so yeah. all the finishes start coming out. Just so it's like making the glitter turn, like making me glittery and shit, I get on that. Just a little gang. Cool though, yeah. Right, like I said, man, you gotta have the OG lows, man, in your collection. You gotta have the OG Nike Air. I know I seen that, you seen that little TikTok video, it's this and lows, dog, yeah. like. He tripped Nike Air. Like, like, you gotta have the OG lows, like. I can see you talking about the little bullshit ass jump man lows, bro. Oh geez, you can't go wrong. All right, then I pull out one of my babies right here, man. Oh man, Storm Blue. Storm Blue. It's one of my favorites. It's gotta be one of my favorites, man. I got two pairs of these, like I said. One of my favorites. I had to pull them out. Yeah. I ain't got them, but they they, they definitely on. they one of my top top on my top. Then I pulled out the knockoffs, no heels. <laughs> the knockoffs, man. You know what I said? The Jim Reds. Jim Reds. I like these pretty cool. I don't wear them a lot, but they pretty cool though. Yeah. And then too bad. Some, too some bad. slight, you know. Yeah, these are cool. I like them. Yeah. Which I had to know it was though, but these are do. Yeah, that's a dope shoe too. And that's probably it for my shoe uh, rotation of the week. For sure. All right, next we're going to get into man the outfits of the week. Uh, the first outfit of the week, guys, is my girl Kaylin. Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. I don't know her personally, but follow her on Instagram. Her name is Slaylin on Instagram. Y'all go support down. that girl. She she got her own clothing brand, own biz, uh, hair brand too. She came down with this outfit. I ain't gonna lie. I like this right now. Like she make me want to go pull my ones out tomorrow. Like just cause it feel like. That's a tie sweats. I I really like that. That hat. I ain't never seen no shit like that. That shit cool. The people with the New York on there. With the tie dye laces, like yeah. For sure, I throw the tie dye laces. Tie dye pants. That's too. I guess. Some chills, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You know, like, we had to do ladies first, but I feel like she killed it, like for sure. For sure, for sure. She yeah, killed it. I ain't never seen no hair like that. But yeah, shout out, shout out to Slayla. Y'all go follow that girl on Instagram for sure. All right. All right, so next we're going to get into DJ Mustard, man. 
I think this is tough because just for the simple fact he rocking the Brianna Taylor shirt, man, that's tough, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He swagged out the Brianna Taylor, R.I.P. Brianna Taylor yeah, shirt, man. Justice be served for Brianna Taylor, man. Y'all yeah. lock them people up, dog. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Then he got the, uh, the, the easy uh yeah. foam runners, the easy car oh, man, yeah. that bullshit yeah, crap. I feel like them them all is hard. Like, like, I don't like them. I like, like them all. I feel like I, I just swear the fuck. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I ain't feeling the crocs though, man. But yeah. Yeah. but the shirt just says it all. You it's know, all, yeah. R. P. To Breonna Taylor. Yeah, this a hard little fit. Must have must have been coming with it lately. I'm really fucking with the the, uh, the Harley Davidson vest too. That that's yeah. tough. That little vest, man. I like that. Oh, he dyed his hair too. He got a little <laughs> Dennis Rodman swag yeah, going man. on, you know. That's pretty cool. Though, yeah, it's man. tough though. Shout out to my boy Mustard like, yeah. losing that weight. I see yeah. you boy in the gym. Yeah, <laughs> feel me? All right. All right. Shout out to my boy DJ man for the square bean and fit. I appreciate the fit too, man. Yeah, I fuck with the fit. Yeah, shout out to my boy DJ. Black man. business owner, man. Shout for sure, I need me. I need this 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 outfit, D. Yeah. Like I that it's so hard. Like yeah. he got the little Dicky unit, like dope boy Dicky unit going yeah, on. Basically paying respects to Nifty Hustle, so he called the hustle sure. fit. The hustle you know fit, yeah. Pretty cool, man. That's a sure. tough little fit. You know what I'm saying? That brown, like like you wear that with you know Travis Scott's or yeah. something yeah. like that, yeah. like yeah. neutral color. Man. I had got the khaki one. I had got the khaki one myself. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I was supposed to wear it today, but I had spilled. I had to waste a whole cup of strawberry lemonade oh, on my shit. Man. Then I cracked my phone on top of it, so I was kind of heated. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But shout out to DJ. Shout out to DJ, man. Y'all need y'all cut that boy of all stars. Yeah. Need y'all fit, you know, square biz. Shout out to them boys. Yeah, yeah for sure. That, that one was hard. All right, guys, it's been real. We appreciate y'all guys for tuning in to another episode of Sunday and Night Kick Talk. Talk. You know, thanks oh, for man. tuning in. Comment, like like we said, man, we need more comments, more yeah, feedback. Yeah, man, come on, we get man. pretty much good feedback, but we, we want to hear we it all. We need the feedback in the comments, man. We need the feedback Please in the comments. Please comment. Y'all been subscribing. You know, shout us out on y'all story. Shout out to y'all. Y'all been doing that, too. We need more comments, though, more feedback. Let us know how we doing. We yeah. can take the criticism, you know. You just need the feedback, man. You know, we just need to know how we doing. Like, we need to engage more with our consumers, you know, to engage with y'all. So, yes, but appreciate yeah, y'all for tuning in. Yeah. You guys see y'all next time, man, on Sunday night. Keep it tall. I keep my head high, can't tell me what to say. Ooh, that's a fake car. Just look the other way. 